Hello, my beautiful friend. Um, I want to share a video about how light workers have been derailed from our mission. So growing up, I was more of an activist. You can't be Palestinian, have Palestinian roots and not be an activist, right? You can't be like an indigo child and not be an activist. You came here to, you know, fight back against the system and all the corruption on our planet. So you can't really be a human being without being an activist, to be honest. You can't be an empath without being an activist. And then the New Age movement came along. Now, the New Age has a lot of great wisdom. Like, I love learning about spirituality manifestation, the power of the mind, but it's important for us to know that, you know, Mark Passio used to be part of a high level, uh, dark occult order. And he said like, Hey, we created the new age. So it's like these people put it all together. They borrowed from East, they borrowed from this and that, and they put it all together and packaged it. And what's so, what's so uh, dangerous about the new age religion because it is the, the new world order religion is that it it crept in and it was so it was so like uh this not deceiving it was like alluring especially for those who are like i need to break out of religion now i find myself in a very uh unpopular place where I'm not religious and i'm not a new ager anymore i i i borrow from all of that I borrow wisdom from everywhere. But uh, there's there's not too many people in, in this place where I'm at. And if there are, please comment below. I'd love to connect with you guys because it's lonely out here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, so I'm listening. So so I'm, I'm admitting that I've been derailed from my more of an activist soul, you know, to have rap songs that were more activist, rap activist, rap activist. And then it became more new agey. And, you know, when you look back in the 60s, there's a theory that says that, uh, you know, acid was was created by the, C well, I don't, I th it might be facts that acid was, LSD was created by, by the CIA. Now, there's two things. One, it was created to get people less political. And if you study... John Lennon's music, uh, he was in New York, you know, he was talking about, he was getting more political, he had albums that were more political, he was connecting more with the, uh, the, the, the political movements of that time, and when you think about it, when all these, the, the whole hippie movement, imagine they were all political, that means, this, that means the end of the war, the industrial war complex, basically no more wars, right? If they really, you know, got together and, and took a stand. But then it became about this beautiful world of open love and, you know, the positive of acid, I don't know if they uh, knew this, was expand awareness. You know, you know, you know who you are, you know what God is, you know, what love is you, you you just know how powerful you are you you know you remember who you are all that stuff is amazing and i don't know if they i don't know if they knew how you know sometimes they do these things and they backfire like the internet was created by you know by people who wanted to use it to control us and that's part of the game plan and you know it's happening in places like china and eventually you know different parts of the world but that also backfired because source is in everything god's in everything you know consciousness is in everything and even in their tactics like you know anything can be used for for control or for liberation right <laughs> it's funny how those things backfire uh how they work and that they backfire as well so we you know we can use our phones to empower ourselves, uh, we can use technology to liberate ourselves, or we can be controlled by technology, right? Same with internet, 
same with music, same with movies, um, the news, the content we're um, ingesting. So I was listening to a podcast or like an interview right now, and it's this guy who was a high, high level uh, Satanist, high level satanic priest and so dedicated to his craft like at an early age his you know i think it was a family thing where his family would wake him up um and you know tell him it's you know to go through all these rituals occult dark occult rituals and then he basically starts going from house to house and putting spells on people and working with it's almost like every city has like a dark lord a minion of the 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 head honcho in the dark worlds and he's just like hexing everyone and and he i loved how he said like those houses that you know would pray or you know had more of a spiritual religious connection um you know that they were untouchable some of the stuff that he says is uh, i don't agree with like when he says you know uh, gay people are not god didn't create people to be gay uh, or when he says things like only those who, you know, the only Christians are anointed, you know, everyone else, all other religions and paths are not anointed. You know, that needs to go like 2024. Come on, that needs to go because I love so many. I love I love Christians who are like fucking warriors. I fucking love that. I love anyone who's a warrior, but I see more online uh, I see more Christian warriors, and he's so badass because he went from being this badass um, Satan soldier to um, being like God, you know, quote unquote God. Anyways, that's a whole other rabbit hole, but like a force of love, you know, fighting for love, love's war. That's my, my, my. You know, I call us all warriors of love. That's I was like, what words would describe me and my community? And I came up with warriors of love. So because I don't I was going to say warriors of God, but then that's limiting in a way. And God is so misunderstood. So I came up with warriors of love. T-shirts coming soon. <laughs> I should totally make shirts for that. Um, and then. Uh, yeah, that he would do all these dark things. And now he does the opposite, you know, now he, he, and just listening to all this stuff, the, this is one dark occultist <clears throat> and I'm tuning into like my life. I'm 42 now. And I was like, I used to be more of a warrior of love and I've been derailed and I fell for the, you know, the, the, the trappings of new age and, you know, self manifestation for self gain, and you know, uh, yeah, I, f I feel I've, I've I got I allowed myself to get derailed, and I want to get back into being that political activist, um, and because think about it, the new age today, right? I don't see those. I don't see the new age peeps in uh, protests for Palestine. Um, I even went on one of the big groups, one of the biggest kind of new agey groups here in Toronto. And I was like, hey, guys, I noticed there's not a single event about what's going on in Palestine. And it's just crickets, like just no one, no comments. I was like, this is not, this is proof to me that the new age is uh, working, that it is a form it is there to derail and uh, sedate. It's a sedative, right? Uh, they call uh, religions of, you know, the older religions kind of an opium for the masses. And the new age is, you know, the opium for the, the ones that broke out of religion. It's like, okay, you're going to break out of religion. I got something else for you. You're going to, your chick, the chickens are leaving the, the um, cages well, well, we'll get you with the free-range chickens. <laughs> you 
you think you're free you're just you're a free range chicken now you're not you're not off the farm yet you're just a free range chicken and you feel good about yourself because you can compare yourself to the cage chickens and compared to the cage chickens you you're more free so as long as you're able to see those in religion as trapped then you feel like you're you're uh, better than that you're and there is elitist elitism elitism in the new age we we are the chosen ones uh you know we're the the star seeds the light warrior we're we're the light workers we're the you know there's us and and then the rest of the population and and there's a way to say it where it doesn't sound like you're better than others i, I always tell people yeah you could be great with the higher chakras but you know try mastering those lower chakras because there's a lot of people on earth that are doing better being grounded humans and being uh having a healthier relationship with their left brain structure <laughs> and you know you know being able to do those things better whereas we're way too much in the divine feminine and the and the creativity generally the people I'm around and I'm doing my best to balance the I I've done so much work to balance the divine masculine with the divine feminine to work on the shadow aspects of both to to uh balance and harmonize the left and right brain being structured and fluid you know and it's a, it's an ongoing thing you got to work it out like a muscle every day so yeah um there's a Mar mark passio breaks down the new age in a great way i think if you uh do a video on that and then i i took that video and i created a module in my break free from the matrix program uh, based on that, I think it's like four hours or some ridiculous amount of time, breaking down the new age, this new age of deception. And all it needs is to have like 1% poisonous thought. That's all. That's all. That's how these dark, uh, the darkness works. Let me, let me lure you with 95% exciting, um, you know, exciting, empowering, like just, just so alluring. It's so like, oh, I love this stuff. And then it's the 5% where it's like, that's how they get us with that 5%. Don't talk about negativity. Bring my vibration down. Well, truth is, <laughs> you know, sometimes people perceive heavy topics to be negative topics, right? Don't, don't, you're, you're bringing my vibration down, you know, high vibes only. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a mindset. These are all mindsets. They're all belief systems. And that's how we create religion. It's a, it's a list of beliefs. But this one came uh, in a way where we were uh, attracted to it, not the, um, like, where it wasn't imposed on us, right? It was, we, we said, I will be this. <clears throat> you know, and I remember hearing Christians talk about the new age, and I was like, these guys are just so lost. <laughs> I was like, these guys lost the plot. <laughs> they just got bought out by some, you know, Christian person, or they freaked out. The new age was too powerful, too much truth that they like got scared of it and, and went back. But it's important for us to know what are gods and lower g gods like i try not to use the word god because it's so misinterpreted you know go go experience god go to the forest fast for a day go to the forest do some magic mushrooms and you tell me what you know try to describe god to me you won't be able to describe god so as some native americans call uh god the great uh the great mystery right because the mind can't fathom what god is it's beyond uh words beyond <clears throat> you know the mind that's beyond the mind and it's indescribable and the mind and the words can only do their best so the the great unknown or the great mystery is such a humble way to to say it's unknown and it is a mystery 
to the mind, to our limited mind, to our human limitations. <clears throat> so uh, what my, the whole point um, uh, of this video was for me to remind us how important it is to be warriors of love. And it, it's not enough to do yoga and it's not enough to um, visualize your, your goals and dreams. It's not enough to, you know, experience more abundance. And I feel there's a there's an aspect that you're not going to get paid for it. You know, you don't need to brag about it. Um, but, you know, one thing Christians and Muslims and, you know, d different religion groups is they get together. They get together and they they do. You know, this guy was saying when he was a dark lord, he when he astral traveled to Europe and he said there was this one place where they basically like ran him out. And the lady interviewing was saying, asking him, how did they how did they run you out from doing your dark stuff? And he said there were a, a united group of Christians praying. Now, he works for the church, so he's, you know, he's going to promote is going to like boost. Um, Christianity and that's fine um, I just don't like to be boxed in into anything really um, but that's fine uh, everyone's doing what they can with where they're at and and I'm just here to take that inspiration and share it so the inspiration is how he now prays on the cities and nullify like I love what he said he said we are anointed like I would translate what he said about only Christians are anointed only with the word of, you know, Christ. Like we have to remember how the Roman Catholic Church took this um, amazing human being, Yeshua, and just like turned him into an Avenger superhero, <laughs> like like a superhero status and then made him, um, you know, godly and, you know, even like to replace God, you know, like interchanging God and and this man Yeshua, I think, and this might be a divisive topic, but these are my thoughts, right? It's my research, it's my intuition. Is uh, it's important to distinguish between the two because that it's just weird how you know it's weird that back then there were you know when you read the Bible there's like Nephilim and giants and like. Um, there is um, beings coming from the heavens, which is really outer space, and angels, which are really aliens. And it's like, why did that stop? You know, and the prophets, the chosen one, you know, God chose these people. And so where's, like, why did God do all those things? Why was there, like, a direct experience between so-called God and, and, plan and beings on planet Earth? And why is that not happening anymore? Why, you know, why did it suddenly stop? So, very important question. You know, just God, God just took a break. Like, that's it. The Bible, 2000, uh, 20 years ago, where are we at? 2024 years ago or whatever, um, was so involved with humanity and he had his chosen people and it was a he and he had like, this whole hierarchy of angels and archangels that sounds like a, a military you know kind of thing and you shall not worship any gods but me and uh, you know i'm a jealous god uh, uh, that's not source that's not the true god that's not the universe you know that's like a head head of command alien guy so like a being from another place coming here and, you know, anyway, so, um, yeah, so where I was going with this is the importance of us to get together. Like when I go to all these new age events, like I, I almost, almost want to like demand that I speak on them, be, speak to in there because I'm noticing there's a lack of acknowledging the land that we're on and acknowledging that this is native land that we're on and just, a simple acknowledgement of that and and you know i feel when i was in australia that re they really taught me the importance of that i really um appreciated that and, and integrated it into 
when I do my circles and talks. And then I also notice there's a lack of like giving back to planet Earth, you know, like spreading the love to the planet. I have seen it sometimes, to be honest, I have seen it. But when it's just about us and like when it becomes like a, a closed bubble, disconnected from the rest of the world, that's dangerous. Yeah. You know, I just connect so many things and I, I see things from from such a clear perspective and I'm not perfect, but I've spent 20, 25 years just diving deep into so much research. Um, and I just love information and I'm constantly absorbed, like reading more and more. Like if I, if I was retired, I would just read, 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 write, read and read and then teach like me. I want to get better at like, sharing this info more than just reading it because I just read it keep it to myself for the most part so uh, I do have a podcast coming up on a big platform like I'm a guest and I'll be sharing a lot of this info what is dubbed conspiracy which is a CIA term to like discredit those who know the truth about JFK which is such a mind fuck because this whole time it's like JFK was assassinated and then you watch this movie that just came out now and it's like, oh shit, JFK faked his death. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like life is such a play, you know, like what's happening now with P. Diddy. Such it's like it's they want they know that they they it's almost like they could do these things to Kanye and then just pay attention to what they're saying. They're you know the saying if you speak out against uh, Jews you you will be canceled so don't say anything about Jews it's not even the Jews it's like a sect of people who hide behind that that title you know who have darker rituals who are not connected to the religion and the people they're connected but kind of not they're their own sect you know um uh, call them extremists you know in a way they're yeah they're not connected they're they're dis they're a distortion of the true of of like good they're a distortion of the good that is found in arabic culture jewish culture um christian you know religious culture so and then oh and then they shut down his banks Right. And he says it. If they did that to me, what's how are they going to stop that from you? So they do it to the celebrities first and and to get to us. Right. So, oh, shit, if they did it to Kanye, maybe they'll do it to me. And then they they um, with P. Diddy, it's like same thing. They'll do it to P. Diddy because I don't hear people talking about Clive Clive. Um, Clive, what's his name? Clive Davis? I think Clive Davis. No one's talking about Clive Davis. No one's talking about the head friggin' uh, mafioso uh, music elites running the music industry. No one's talking about that. They're just talking about one of his puppets. One of his like little minions, P. Diddy. You know, who grew up to be like a, a big deal, uh, a bad, you know, grew up to be a really bad boy, <laughs> a bad man. He started off as a bad boy, became a really bad man. But no one talks about the root of it. You know, no one talks about who corrupted this person when he was a young intern. You know, Andre Harrell, his first mentor, supposedly told him, like, you, you got to like bend over and take it if you want to be in this industry. And then it perpetuates the cycle of abuse and abuser, abuse, abuser. Like we got to get to the root. Um, yeah, like where who's teaching these guys these because uh, homosexuality is not about like uh, in these elite groups. It's not about uh a preference not like it's not about it doesn't start off as like 
you don't do it necessarily because you're attracted to men. You do it uh, or it's being done to you because it's a high level satan like not the act of homosexuality is a satanic right but homosexuals sex it um one of the high satanic rituals involves homosexual like homosexual sex does that make sense it's not an attack on homosexuality it's not saying sexual homosexuality and sex amongst homosexuals is evil but it so happens and uh, this was the big missing piece in my uh connect you know connecting the puzzle pieces was why is it always this gay thing and then i finally got the information was about um you know maybe like the equivalent on the light side is when you know uh two people come together like I hear a lot of people in the tantra community like glorify jesus and mary magdalene as the ultimate like couple conscious couple who would have like tantric sex and priest priestess and you know it's, it's a beautiful archetype and 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 you know sex that brings them closer to god and one union with each other and oneness and all that beautiful stuff it's possible i've experienced it and so what's the opposite of that, right? The opposite of that happens to involve, you know, homosexual sex uh, with, with like, yeah, there's like entities involved. And I, I don't know all the details, but that seems to be the common thing. So then who teaches someone like a young P. Diddy uh, the dark uh, rites, the dark rituals, satanic rituals, dark occult rituals. We'll go research who funded it, who funded Bad Boy. Who 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 inspired P. Diddy to get into this dark world where, you know, earlier on he had this big party that tons of people died in, you know, the research the Bad Boy curse, almost every member who joined bad boy bad things happened biggie died and then tupac died and then shine goes to prison comes out he's like a jewish person but like he converts to judaism mace you know leaves bad boy and converts to being a christian like what is happening what's this dark cloud over p p diddy you know where did that come from and apparently one of the things about this dark satanic ritual is uh, some so I mean it's going to be a graphic thing but when you eat when a man ejaculates into another man or woman uh, wait I think something about the energy from the person penetrating uh, the energy going through up the spine and into the brain so i don't know if it's referring i can't remember if it was my research was about the ejaculate doing that i know for for a fact they're finding the ejaculate of a of a man is found in a woman's brain even like years after like the first person who ever came inside you like the brain the sperm apparently is still stuck in the brain and brain and, and of women and I wonder, um, from my research, it was something about like a transference that would happen when you would have, um, yeah, like the homosexual sex acts and something about like, it's almost a way of mind controlling the person you're doing it to. Because if you have this darkness and you're possessed by this darkness and then you transfer it through one of the most like, it's like when you plug in your phone into your laptop, right? You're transferring files from one thing to another. And I feel sex is that kind of plugging in your USB, plugging in your phone and transferring energy and transferring information. So then the person you're doing it to is now getting corrupted. And we say corrupt files, right? 
when some yeah, like I personally just got a I'm just getting this right now. So I personally got a an external hard drive. You can think of a USB and I plugged it into my laptop and it all the files got corrupted. Right. So think of the word like who corrupted P. Diddy, corrupted files, energy, sex, transfer. So these dark people, the dark uh, occultists know the art of turning someone who's positive, light, you know, uh, ambassador of love, God's child. And the, the whole, one of the arts is knowing how to turn that person against love, against light, uh, to, you know, so makes sense. Makes sense. This is how to corrupt someone because uh, they're not born corrupt. Something, you know, their actions and their uh, who they're surrounded uh, with uh, gets corrupt. You know, and and you look at a Justin Bieber and feels like uh, refuse to be corrupted. You know, the, the Piscean the Pisceans are like the spiritual and he's a Pisces. So this, the Pisces feel like the more spiritual, there's the dark Pisceans who are head of, uh, some of these bigger music institutions. And then there's like the light Pisceans, like a Bieber who like went through so much, but is not allowing himself to be corrupted, you know? Um, yeah, something about that Pisces is like a spiritual warrior. I, I see it in some of Michael Jackson's um, footage where he's fighting against Sony and calling out the Tommy Mottola head of Sony as like a devil and based on what Mariah Carey told him about Tommy Mottola being this like evil controller person. And I've seen him in an interview and I got such creepy vibes. I'm like, this guy is what the Bible says yeah, uh, are the children uh, like the Nephilim, which were a hybrid of angels, a.k.a. alien beings who came down to planet Earth, it says it in the Bible, and they uh, found the women of Earth attractive. I don't blame you. Uh, uh, and they interbred with the women of men and taught them like sorcery and like uh, sciences, like astrology and all those things. So um, that's where it kind of started. Uh, and so I, yeah, these this Tommy Mottola character and maybe other high up people in different industries like Hollywood and the music industry seemed like at least this guy when I saw him I was like this guy looks like a some kind of hybrid, you know. Uh, so that's a whole lineage. It's a whole bloodline on our planet that um, that goes goes undercover, you know. Pe people are in the conspiracy world are aware of the, these bloodlines and but like on the outside you know like now it's all, all p diddy's not in the bloodline why are you focusing on a minion why are you focusing on a pawn why are you focusing on on one of the soldiers focus on the higher ups so one of the things is like hey if you i feel like they'll use celebrities to get to us so it's like hey we're gonna expose a celebrity's dirty laundry and 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 somehow we're we're also letting you know like we're uh, gonna expose everyone like everyone's uh gonna be exposed like for anything they have that's compromising so uh that's my my, my take on it 33 minutes let's conclude it right there it so happens to be 33 uh what is that 33 spines right there 30, we have three, uh, 33, sorry, 33 vertebra, which is connected to uh, Christ consciousness because 33 vertebra, um, ascension, circulating our sexual energy. Anyways, that's a whole other video. Love you guys.